Hey guys, it's John, and welcome back to my playthrough of Madison. This is part three, and in the last video, we made some progress, and in this video, we're going to conclude the game, because we're at 78%. Well, I really hope that we conclude the game. If not, nah, you know what? I'm not even gonna entertain the thought. We will beat it. We will beat it in this one. Uh, at the end of the last video, there was like, what appears to be an incredibly annoying puzzle. Uh, so I just pieced out of that shit, and I came back later, so. It's later now, and I've come back with a fresh mind, and a fresh shirt, and I'm ready to tackle it. And I'm just stalling for time until we load in. <laughs> She's playing with my mind. She's messing with my head! There is no is known if she was under the influence okay. So let's go ahead and start with floor one. This is, of course, an... <laughs> An additional area of the house that's, uh, metaphorical, I guess. An alternate dimension of some kind. Hello? Oh? Okay, it got kind of stuck there. Okay, let's take a look at this. What are these numbers are for? One, two, three, four. Okay, so I guess each number correlates with, uh, one of these shower stalls. That's what these are, right? So what I'm guessing is that each floor is one of Madison's four victims. Because she had four victims, right? But then there are five... There are five floors. So the first victim is her 75-year-old father, so I'm guessing we have to figure out which one that is. Um, this Evan Grayson does not add up to 75, does it? No, it does not. All right, let's take a look at this one. Oh, well, there's Vincent here. Vincent was actually 57. Uh, Henry was 72. Kate is uh, not <laughs> her grandfather or whatever. Helen was buried at sea and uh, was a long time ago. Jackson A. Patterson, huh, 55. Christian Schmidt, 1985. Angel Watson, 68. And what about this one? Robert Hall, 1987. Or sorry, Robert Hale. Oh, so wait, so we just, do we take a photo of this one? Sounds like something's moving. Okay. Oh, that was easy. I should've just looked through the, there we go. Okay, so see the hole there? So we put a nameplate on it, Robert Hale. Got it. Um, okay, so we're done with that. Now we move on to floor number two. I guess we just have to take one photo per floor, right? That's the idea? Yeah, yeah, lots of mutilation. I, I don't see anything here. 71 year old mother, okay. Bro, I cannot see anything. Wait, did I just do it? Wait, hang on, you can't be serious. Did I just get lucky? Okay, so 1987 is when they died. Okay. Well, I got it then. Let's go on to floor number three. A 27-year-old man. Adam Rose, rest in peace. He doesn't even have a date. Okay, let's check this. Or no? Wait, did I just, did I just get it again? No, there's nothing there. Okay. Laura Calebson, 1963, mother and friend. That's not, that's not the 27 year old man. Maybe I can break the wall with something. Oh no. Tyler Owens, well none of these, now we can just look and none of them die in 1987, right? Alfred Miller, son of a, a son, a brother, a father, a friend. Quite the portfolio. Okay. So wait, hang on. Do I have? Probably gotta get the hammer. Actually, ugh. I was not looking forward to this. We gotta go all the way back and get the hammer from the safe. All right, BRB. You know, I think they could have made this game a bit scarier with maybe some like active enemy patrolling. 
Just a little bit. It doesn't have to be... Doesn't have to be anything crazy. But just a little bit of something would have been good. Okay, yeah. Let's take the hammer. Should I also take the crowbar? Yeah, I'll take both of them because I'm not sure which one we need. And let's store... Let's store the bolt cutters for now because... What do we use the broken shovel for? It's really starting to annoy me. Yeah, it's like right now, like, the house looks really creepy. It's really dark. It's really red. It might be nice to have some sort of imminent danger because... You know, just something to make the walk from all the way over here to the safe to get the hammer a bit more interesting. Because, like, we know, or, or they knew when they designed it that way, that, like, if you forgot the hammer, if you didn't have the hammer on with you, then you'd have to go all the way to the safe. So it would have been cool if they had planned something to play around with that. Wait, wasn't there, like, a red photo? <laughs> Random jump scare. I took the photo way too late. Okay, here we are. The 27 year old man who is undoubtedly beyond this. Hammer? Okay, it's the hammer. Oh, nice. Very accurate shot. Alright, let's take a look. Drake Fletcher, this is him. Okay. So. Cool. Oh, these rotate. Each time you do it. I was like, what what am I doing when I'm doing that? Alright, let's go to the four. Let's get this red photo. I'm ready, I'm ready. Yeah, hey, we got it. Okay. Thirty-five year old woman. Not Helen McKenzie. Buried at sea. Wait, didn't we already see this one? Huh. I thought it said something different. Let's see if- Hey, we don't- You won't let us do the crowbar. Okay. Do the hammer. Thank you. Ashley Smith, tells of one. Nope. That's not it. Uh, Evan... Vincent. They're like- They're giving us repeats now. It must be this one then. 1987? 1987? The body of 87? Okay, so it's 1952. 35 year old woman, right? Yep. Okay, so I'm the next victim, is what he's saying here. So we gotta find a mirror. Take a photo of ourselves, right? Okay, now what does this show? Two. Okay, so I've got two digits now. I've got five and two. And we've got a key. It's a clock key. This goes to the clock room. There are no numbers on this one. Yeah, I don't know. What, what's the deal with the numbers? We got, we got the, the clock key. That's what we wanted. Yes, me. Me, 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 me. We're all good. There's the plant of cockroaches in here to keep us company. All right, let me out. Let me out. Thank you, Silent Hill. Bye. See you later. Okay, let's go open up the clock room. Oh, we got an autosave. See now, oh, it's raining outside. See now anything can happen. Although the house is still red, interestingly. Okay, this is it. I should turn the power back on first. All oh, right, I forgot. Okay, we're good. Hey, 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 hey. Leave the door open. 
I like to be able to get around. Hey, excuse you. Okay. I still got this. Something right, eight left. I gotta, I gotta remember that. That's gonna come into play at some point. Now, clock key, this thing, yeah? I think this is the last locked door in the game. Oh. I did not know it went down. Sure. <laughs> My body. My hands. This is what the priest was talking about. That thing is. That thing is feeding off of me. Ow. Calm down. Tick what tock. What does this even mean? The house is full of clocks. Yeah. Yep, yep. In case you haven't figured it out, we've got to solve another riddle. Crowbar. Uh, broken shovel. And concrete block. Okay. Fallen into the old adventure game trap of just trying every single item. Okay. So that's locked. So we gotta open this somehow. Okay. There's... So there's different styles of clocks, interestingly. Um, yeah, let's... Let's open these. Oh, that's locked. Oh, I gotta get the bolt cutter for that. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry. That was me trying to open it. Whoa. You gotta be strong. <gasps> sorry, it was just very surprising. To work in here. Oh, no one gives a shit, dude. Alright, let's see. So we got this clock. This clock. We probably have to find the matching clock somewhere else in the house, right? We've got those clocks. So we got three. And then... Four. So we've got four different clocks. And they're not running, if you notice. The time is stuck. These other ones are moving though. Okay. I'm gonna go back up. I'm gonna go to the safe. I'm gonna get the bolt cutters. We're gonna come right back. And... By the way, the statue's gone. I, I know the statue's supposed to be creepy, but it, I, I just find them kind of funny. You're still banging away in there? Get a hobby. All right, I think we're officially, if I know my, oh, I have the bolt cutters. Oh, no, I don't, no, I don't, no, I don't. I put them in, and they're exactly the thing that I need. Here, wait, we gotta store the hammer now, because we're officially done with the hammer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Done with the hammer. I'm gonna say that we're done with the crowbar, too. I wanna have two slots open, so. Hey! Bro, I was, I was in there. Yeah, I think I think this game has a great atmosphere, great graphics, and like ambiance. I think the one thing it's missing right now for me is like an active threat. You don't want the active threat to be too annoying. Like I don't want to sit here, I don't want to sit here for example, and be like, oh, is it out there? Oh, 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 oh there it is, and then and like halting progress too much. But I'd like, I'd like a couple different sequences of it. Wouldn't hurt. All right, let's uh, rip this open. What we get, what we get, what we get, what we get. Oh, oh, it's a combination. Nine left, 11 left, eight right. And it's got green binding. So this is for the green safe. Nine left. 11. Well, wait. What does that other one have? Did the other one have green rings as well? The one that we found in the... Nice, dude. Here we go. This one. Yeah, this one is green. So, 9 left, 11 right, 8 left. 9, 11, 8. So, with that, we're gonna go back this way. And we're gonna open that green safe. 9, 11, 8. I wonder if now if we can open the red safe, if or if we have like everything that we need. Possible. Okay, let's open the green safe, y'all. Okay. One, two, three, four.
Yay, we got it. Okay, what do we get? Oh, a bunch of bullshit. <sighs> John, my son, I'm an old man already, and life has passed to all of us. I'm trying to imitate the guy in the beginning. I'm so proud to see the man you've become. So happy to have deeply enjoyed the two grandchildren that you gave me, Luca and Chanel. I write this letter so that one day you can understand everything that's going on in my mind right now and debunk the myth that I'm a crazy old man. God does exist, and just like him, so does Satan. All my life I tried hard not to believe, but time has shown me I was profoundly mistaken. Your mother was not sick at all, and I couldn't prevent her sad ending from happening. As far-fetched as it sounds, Blue Knees is real. Who is Blue Knees? They keep, they keep talking like we know who Blue Knees is. Who? Not a single specialist was able to trace down the cause of her condition, not to mention find a treatment to help her fight. I truly wish I could go back in time and tell her, I believe you. I kept trying to contact her for over 15 years. I just wanted to speak with her just one last time. Soon, we'll meet again. What was that? And I'll beg her to forgive me. This loneliness reminds me day after day how hard it gets to live without my most precious and beloved person in the world. At least I can see her face in every room of this huge house. <laughs> yeah, we've noticed all of those photographs. You didn't have any other photographs of her? Love of your life. Just the one? You made 80 copies of just the one, huh? She's like, uh, like I, I think, I think, we'll take another look at it, but I don't think her eyes are even open in that photo. Regarding the book, I tried to burn it, tear it, bury it, but there's no use bothering. It somehow manages to get back. Anyway, I now keep it in my possession under locks and keys. I will not allow history to repeat itself. Thank you for being the son I've always dreamt to have. Love, your dad, Albert Maxwell. You are not my son! You are not my son? Okay. Uh, thanks, Albert. It's actually John that was saying those things to us. Oh, hey! It's for the clock! I take it. 820 is what it says. Thank you. It's nice that it tells me at a glance. Okay. 820. Okay, we still got the red chest. So the red chest. Now this... Hmm... I guess when it says if you need the combination, see it's got the green, uh, it's got the green rings. I guess this was just saying the combination is in the clock room. So then how do we get the red safe to open? Well, okay, we've got two numbers, five and two. Okay. That was pretty cool, actually. In almost every single one of the games that I've played like this, the jump scares are triggered by moving around. Like that jump scare would trigger like by me coming towards the door. But it just randomly happened while I was standing here, you know, pontificating to myself. So very cool, actually. I like that. I like that. 820, okay. Now I'm guessing that we don't What does that do? Oh, so what I get? 640. But then if I put 640 in, then I can get this one back. So we make trades. Oh. So how, how about this? I put 820 in. I get, I, I trade you 820 for 640, okay? I'll trade you A20, it's an ultra rare for six, 640, it's only a super rare. Okay, you can't do it twice though. I was like, wow. That, see, that, fir that first jump scare was pretty good. That second one, not so much. It's not your fault though, I'm pretty sure. I, I think they're just random. They see, cause that first one was definitely random. Okay, so. 
So there's four clocks down here, and there's four, I believe, upstairs. There's one in the attic, there's one way back that we just interacted with, there's one where we started the game, and then there's one other one somewhere. I think in the kitchen. So there's four clocks down here, and there's four clocks upstairs. So how... Like, this is our, our current assignment, and I'm just trying to figure out what what's the... This clock's actually running. Okay. So what what is this? Do we do we maybe like match them up? I mean this is this is 1225, right? So right now we have what 640. Okay, and that's not what this is. Do we find the one that says 640? Hmm. I'm not sure that we do. One, yeah, none of these say 640. Maybe we use 640 to trade for another one, though. So let's see what the other ones say. Because maybe one of them... She's, she's popping up a lot now. She's not doing anything, though, frustratingly. Okay. Now... This is not... Well... We don't have one that looks like that either. Oh, calm down. Yeah, there's this one. This one is, yeah. Huh. And then there's the one in the attic as well. Okay, none of these, none of these times match. Okay. Starting to happen a bit too often now. Okay, all the clocks on this wall actually are different than than this one. All the clocks on this wall are 820. All the clocks on this wall. Oh, oh. So what we what we care about are not actually the clocks, the clock like the times on the clocks that we're changing. What we care about are the times on the clocks around. So like 9.30 is this one, and this is, yeah, four, no, 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 sorry, I made the same mistake again, actually. Oh, no, it is, it is 4.20, 4.20, okay, so 4.20, um, 4.20, 9.30, 4.20, 9 9.30, and 5.10, well, hang on a second. Oh, we gotta go back and get the 820 one that we got from the safe, because it goes on that one, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Listen, honey. Just do it already. Alright? Yeah, just do it already, you won't. Now, if you'll excuse me, I got some puzzles to solve. I got some annoying puzzles to solve. Ugh! No, it didn't happen that time. Okay, so this is actually what we need. We need this one. Bah! No. Okay, so see, we put it on this one, 820. Now all the clocks match, right? Yeah, and it matches. And that's what we want. Now this one is 130. Nothing, nothing works for 130. So I'm thinking this might be a throwaway. So we go, Let's go to the one in the kitchen. Which I have to take the long way around. Buh! No. Didn't happen. Buh! Keep I keep expecting it to happen. Okay, yeah, I think this one actually. Yeah, this is uh what, 930? Yeah, we need this for the clock room. So now we go. See, it's like okay, it's like the Madison jump scares. It shows that the developer is thinking that during this part, you'll be running around the house. Which is fine. Um, but they kind of overdid it. So it was kind of like what I was talking about earlier, but not... It's like they brute forced it. Oh yeah, 9.30. Here we go. I want to grab it by the beak. Tell it to shut the fuck up. Okay. So we've got two out of the four clocks. We just need to get the other two now. Okay, yep. This one... I think this is one that we need. 
Pretty sure, yeah, 420 it is. Okay, okay, 420. Yep, it's this one. Thanks, bud. 745. Okay, so the last one that we want is 510. Which... Is that up on... Up in the attic? <laughs> I keep expecting it to happen though. See, it's really unfunny when I run through and I'm like, Bleh! and it doesn't happen, but... Imagine, you know, when I do. Here we go. This is it. So we get rid of that one and we get the real one. That's gonna be really funny if I predict it. I'll upload it to TikTok. Man, predicts jump scare? Blah! Okay. I'm not gonna do that anymore. It was funny for a bit, but now it, now it's over. Got it. Okay, look. They're all going crazy. We take a photo. Or no? Oh my god. All oh, the cuckoo clocks are going nuts, guys! We have to wait. We have to wait for it to. Huh? Okay. Here, what? What's it gonna show? Four, five, two, four. Ah. It seems okay. like I never finished this one. Unfinished clock. Concrete block. Okay, now what... What would we need this for? Yeah, maybe we examine it. Maybe there's something somewhere on it. I have to say, I, th I think so far, I wish I was like compelled more to investigate the items. Like, you know, maybe you look on the, on the bomb and you're like, whoa. I mean, they kind of had that with like the planets, but it was just kind of like telling you which plant was which? Where have we not gone? Oh, here we go, here we go. He's gonna tell I us. I can't take this anymore. I just can't. My whole body is going numb. Why is this happening to me? There we go. This must be a combination or something. It's a combination for the red safe, see? Because you... You wrote a red pen around it. Okay, so this is... Three, six, nine... Eleven notches to the left. So, eleven left. Um, seven right. And then four left. So, eleven... Seven, four. Eleven, seven, four. Hey, seven plus four is eleven, so that makes sense. Eleven, seven, four. Watch out, guys. Pill bottles. Eleven, seven, four. Now, I'm guessing that probably in the red safe is going to be the key to this room right here. Because this is, like, the last place that we haven't been. Okay. Jump scare! No. I said I would stop doing it. I'm sorry. Maybe I have... Oh, I have it backwards. It's four, seven, eleven. So, I think the red notch, I was counting the actual notches, but I think it's just the red notches. No, but then it would include the arrows. Seven. Seven, four, three. <sighs> Let's try that. Seven, four, three. So... 
Wait, wait. My bad. Oh my gosh, it was that. Look at all this cash! Oh, Johnny. Wait, wait, take a photo. Oh, what? You don't get, no reaction to the cash? Bruh. Well, we finally get to see what's in good old dad's room. Yeah. Right here. Johnny's key. Okay. Look at the awkward, awkward son. Okay, let's go inside. What? This is dad's room? Mattress with no dad's room. Mattress with no what bedding. What happened in here? Yeah, I mean, what happened in this entire house, bro? Unfinished clock. Oh, oh, this is what the concrete block is for. What? Oh wow, so that's a big concrete block. And a big concrete block. Wait, wait. Can we put the uh, broken shovel on it? No. Okay. It's a weight puzzle. Interesting. Okay. So this is a shark. Okay. A Resident Evil puzzle right here. Shark, bunny, rat, snake. All right. And is there any... See, it says blue knees right here, by the way. What was that? Can I, I want to get in there. Okay, how do we, okay, and then there's this. Okay, can I take this? All right, so we've got four different weights. We've got the clock, and then we've got three different concrete blocks. Okay, this is the smallest one. So I think, I think the unfinished clock actually weighs the least. Okay, here we go. In order to save the bird, the rabbit jumped into the air, leaving all her friends behind. The snake below the rat remained, while the shark in the depths this plan designed. Okay. I'm gonna just go ahead and guess that what we need to do is we need to have the biggest weight be on the animal that's lowest to the ground. So the shark would be the lowest. Snake. So it goes shark, snake, rat, rabbit. So rabbit is the highest. So rabbit gets the clock. Okay. Shark gets the shark gets the big big concrete block. Okay. And then snake. No, sorry snake, that's not you. That ain't you, buddy. It's this one. And then the rat is this one. Is that right? Or do we, or do we swap these? No. Ah, okay, that's all we had to do. I did get it right. Let's take a look. Okay. Now, interesting, they keep talking about Bloonies is real, Bloonies this, Bloonies that, right? So this is the book that everyone was talking about? And I'm a little perturbed that we just let it loose um, from the birdcage. A long, long time ago, there was a creature whose name was unknown. It had always lived alone and was often seen on its own. And there it's jealous of a little two-headed girl and a little devil. <laughs> this is like, dude, this is like, this is like the Squidward meme. One freezing frosty night, it begun to feel so very somber that it fell into a two-day slumber. By the third day, it woke up in blackness with an illness so serious that both its eyes had vanished in the darkness. 
The creature creeped out of the bed and started crawling, looking for the eyes it knew for sure were rolling. It slithered and rolled, so its knees turned blue and sore. Since its eyes popped and tumbled, both of them as dust crumbled. It is to this day that it does not have a clue, but that is no excuse to end the pursuit. Now beware those fleeting eyes and make sure to turn on the lights for your own sight is at stake if you cannot escape. Oh look, he looks really happy under there. He's afraid of the light. Use something bright for protection. Oh, you mean like my camera? Okay. Ah. What am I doing? What am I doing right now? Wait, what? The room has changed. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Okay. It's locked. Wait, what? Hi. I know this is impossible, but I think Dad wrote this. Hi, my name is Johnny. Man, protagonist. Do you have to sound like you're about to burst into tears at every single line of dialogue? I've been trying not to comment on it till now, but geez. I'm just saying. Oh look, there's a bunch of eyeballs. Watch out, y'all. All right. Oh shit. Oh shit. Do I go that way? What's up, girl? Blue knees. Oh, the statue's back. Okay, we're gonna have to have the light out, I guess. Oof. Can't go down there. Okay. Wait, where am I going? Bruh. What the fuck? Wait, this is the attic. Huh. <laughs> what am I doing? What a shitty song. <laughs> What's going on? Why am I- Why would you do this? <laughs> okay, wait, do I take a- Take a photo? I don't know. Okay, so we- Wait, what? The hallway's, like, kinda looping? Am I trying to play all the phonographs? I think we have to play those and then it changes the hallway. Maybe. I don't know. So this is like this the house feels like a maze. This is kind of like a PT loop. I'm sure this is what Grandma was referring to in her diary.
We've got to find the next phonograph. We have to play the whole thing from Keep going with it? I don't understand. Oh shit! Oh, interesting. Just like Madison, huh? I don't understand, what, what's the point in playing the creepy song? Okay, it's. I think it. I think every time we play it, it get, it's it gets a little bit longer. Oh wow. Okay. Whoa! Okay. So. Oh, it takes me to this side. It won't- oh wait. Is that an eyeball? Stuck in there? They've all got an eyeball. Every time you go through... Okay, he has to be- He has to be closer. Jeez. This is a different area. Oh shit, what? Okay, here we go. It's a different one, right here. Serious? Okay. Okay, so now we take this back to where the eyeballs are supposed to go. I think. Throw it away! Throw it away! God. Bruh. Okay. Blue needs is always in the dark. He hates the light. Yeah! No, I get it, but you can't- you can't take a photo of him from too far away. He has to be close- He has to be close enough for it to count. Okay. So I use the eyeball.
Uh. <laughs> okay. Thought maybe he would come. He would come out. No? Oh my gosh. I keep expecting him to show up during this part. Let's see if it'll finish the song. Why is my back to the hallway? Shit! What? Achievement. Grandma was right. Oh, uh, the song was almost done. There was no warning for that. Piss off. Do I not want the song to go all the way through? If the song goes all the way through, then it kill- then he insta-kills me. Now I get it. It's like saying Bloody Mary. Five times in the mirror, three times, whatever it is. Three times? Bloonies says, I have pretty eyes. Oh, so what we're trying to do is we're trying to get eyeballs. I get it. So when we play this, we don't want it to go all the way. Because if it does, then he insta-kills us. But we're trying to pop out eyeballs. And we need to get two, I'm guessing. Yeah? I mean, that- that makes sense. I get it now. I didn't understand it. I got an achievement blinded. Damn, nice. I actually like this section. Now that I know- now that I understand how it works, and we're not just like randomly playing a creepy little nursery rhyme. Now that I understand how it works, I get it. I like it. I don't want to sleep alone. Bloonies is always turning the lights off. That rascal. Okay. See? Okay. So, okay. So it popped the eyeball out a little bit, but I've got to get it to play again. To pop it out. And once I get two eyeballs, I assume, in the pit. Then we're good. Okay, I just got him. It's like I can't... This is the only one that I can play, I think. want the song to go all the way to the end. I'm pr cause he insta killed me last time that happened. Fuck. I don't understand what you're supposed to do here now. I have a new friend, his name is Bloonies. Shut up. No you do not you do not have any friends.
Okay, I can't find anything else to do. I'm just gonna play it all the way through. Maybe it was a fluke. This time it popped, it popped the stupid eyeball out. <laughs> no! No! Frustrating. It's like you have to play the phonograph and then it like pops the eyeball up a little bit but then you have to play it again while it's already popped in order to get it out. Am I get? Am I understanding that correctly? So like this one, but like I can't play this one again. I don't understand how this works. It's like, are you just supposed to like walk around until you find one? Oh my god, there's a phonograph in here. Okay, this is it then. Okay. So you don't need to do it twice. I kept thinking you had to do it twice. You only need to do it once. Okay. Jeez. Okay, so we gotta go back to the pit. Throw the eyeball in. All right. There we go. And we just need to get two. So grandma wasn't sick at all. Yeah, this yeah, yeah. Is what really killed her. Yeah. True. Oh. 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 Oh, we take a picture of this now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One. Okay, so we've got the full code for the lock, I think. Was it was five, two, three, one? Was it five, two, three, one? Was that it? Okay. Wait, was that supposed to happen? <laughs> that was supposed to happen, okay. I was about to say. Oh, did you hear that? Oh, God. Right, we're back here with Madison. What, are we okay? Jeez, dude. Okay. Why we're limping. Uh, you cannot use the camera right now. Fuck off. Oh. Hey, put some clothes on, Madison, okay? Just because you're like a mass killing dismemberer doesn't mean you can't put some clothes on. Oh, 
Oh, we're not allowed to go in there anymore. Not that we really wanted to. There was nothing for us in there. Huh? We're not allowed to go in there either. Oh, or over there. Flashing lights warning, y'all. In case you missed it. In part one, but yeah. Yeah, don't worry, I'm not going to go over there, okay? What's this guy's name? Luca? Is it really just Luca? Okay. Alright, Luca, let's go. Luca. She's leading us. She wants to do it. She wants to do the body exchange ritual. Now, I'm gonna have to double check and make sure that I got the code. Wait, it's not this one. Yeah, I know you're here, dude. One. Oh my god, there's so many. Oh wait, discard, discard! Why isn't it discard? I have not been discarding! Don't discard that. <laughs> oh, yeah, nice. We actually got a photo of him. It's because it didn't work. This is kind of cool. One, four, so five, two, four, one, I think, is it? Five, two, four, one? Yeah, okay. Made sure that I was on it. All right. Okay. Yeah, I'm doing it, okay? You need to calm down. Okay, so let's do five, two, yeah, I'm going as fast as I can, old lady. You old hag. There we go. Nice. So what? Oh, these are the- this is... Elizabeth Maxwell. Her ashes. Grandma's ashes. Literally, this is like one of the- Oldest inside jokes on my channel. Grandma's ashes. We gotta throw it down now. Uh oh. Oh, okay, good. I thought it was gonna shatter on the ground. I was about to be like, that's an anticlimactic way to do this. Um. Yeah, bro, I get it. Open the notebook. The hanged son. Son. Oh, he's he sounds different now. Oh, what, this? God, she's so impatient. Yeah, I know, dude. What am I supposed to be doing? Am I supposed to put something here? Oh, the camera, okay. We can't use it anyway, so. Oh, okay. Here I go. I'll be interested to see if this is where it ends. Doesn't really seem like there's multiple possible endings. Was she gonna kick the chair? Oh, we still did it. Okay. Oh, there she is. Gonna gloat in our face, huh?
Okay. <gasps> I see. Oh, we don't get to see it. It's all bloodied up. Right? That seems like a pretty definitive ending, unless there's some sort of twist. Don't just go right into the credits. Don't you do it. Don't just go right into the credits. Like, wasn't that a great game? Anyway. <laughs> Achievement, the nightmare is over. Achievement, 666. Oh, okay. Huh, all right, well that was Madison. Well, as always, I do have some thoughts. Hey, wait a second, it says, it says Madison, but it also says I, mad son. Oh. Okay, let me just say first and foremost, I was very concerned for like the majority of the game that it was gonna be psychological horror, that it was gonna be like, oh, actually, um, it's, oh wow, a lot of the same voice actors. It's actually not supernatural. Ooh, excuse me, sorry about that. It's actually not supernatural, it's mental illness. So, bravo, no mental illness trope, no, uh, you know, uh, mental illness is the source of the horror. It's the it's the entire like theme of the game is that it's the root of everything bad that happens, right? Instead, it it was a supernatural horror game. So actually, it, even though I called it a psychological horror game in my first video, and even though it's kind of being marketed like that, it's not. It's a supernatural horror game, which is great. So first of all, complimentary on that. Let's get some more comments out of the way. Uh, great atmosphere, very good graphics. Um, just overall, I think the the sound design is well done. Um, lots of good things to say about Madison in terms of the overall aesthetic and a lot of the execution, frankly. A lot of times when I compliment these, um, we'll just keep calling them psychological horror games because it's the style, it's, it's kind of the style of this type of horror game. Um, I tend to really compliment the aesthetics, like layers of fear really complimented the aesthetics. But then I'm like, uh, the execution was really lacking though. But I think the execution in this was quite good in spots. It wasn't perfect. And there were some moments where I got visibly frustrated, like when we went to the, when we were trapped in the bathroom and they did that PT homage part where you get locked in and there's, a lot, there's knocking on the door and then you open and there's nothing there. I can't stand that shit. I, I hate it, but it was a short sequence and it was a small part of the game. And uh, the game was actually surprisingly very puzzle driven, which the puzzles were very hit or miss for me. Some of them I liked, like I liked the portrait puzzle in the attic, um, but I wasn't thrilled with all of them. I thought the cathedral section in particular kind of dragged a little. And overall, I think the game had fairly good pacing. It's, it's hard for a game like this to have good pacing, but I think that the puzzle structure really helped. I, I don't think I, I don't think it ever hit the highs for me that the first third of the game did. Second game kind of brought it down a bit, like the, I said with the cathedral. I didn't really like the mazes. There was a lot of mazes in the second act. Um, I mean, you start off after you go through the attic, you start off going through a maze which I didn't like. And then the, the cathedral mazes and the candles and going back and forth, backtracking through time and stuff. Not a big fan of that. I didn't really, yeah, I didn't really dig that gameplay at all. And then this hallway, speaking of which, I actually think that the second act was probably the weakest part of the game, now that I think about it. Cause I didn't really mind the third act much at all, what we did in this video. I didn't really mind that too much. I didn't. So I wasn't thrilled with the elevator sequence where you had to take photos of all of her victims, including yourself. I wasn't thrilled with that, but it was okay. I liked the clock puzzles that we did and I liked the bloonies part. Um, 
I actually, I mean, I find the Bloonies part pretty frustrating because I really like Bloonies as an enemy, and I like how it showed up, you know, like um, when the lights were flickering, like you didn't see it move when the lights were off, so it was kind of cool. I, I liked that part of it, and I liked, you know, combating it with the camera. I thought that was pretty neat, but... And, and the song was pretty creepy. Oh, just behind, I'm fine. Yeah, that was pretty creepy song, but <laughs> I didn't like popping the eyeballs out of it. He also like randomly insta-killed me and I thought it was because I played the song all the way through. So I, that was just kind of misfortunate. I misinterpreted the game mechanic there and then I got really confused. Um, but yeah, going around, finding all the phonographs, playing them until the eyeball pops out. I, it's a little bit of a bizarre game design choice in my opinion. And an otherwise cool sequence that's kind of stuck near the end. I don't understand the significance of Blue Knees in terms of the story. I think the story is probably the weakest part of this, frankly. Thankfully, I'm okay with that. Uh, I, too often I play these types of horror games and like... The story is the main focus, and it's really the only, like, reason that anyone likes the game. Uh, not this, but others. And often I'm just not, I, I find the story, even if it's it's well received by others, to be kind of not that interesting. I wasn't really that interested in the story of this, but I did find the gameplay and, like, the horror execution in a lot of spots to be very strong. But, you know, it is... Imperfect and at $35 brings me to the price point rather high price point for this experience I would say this took me about six hours Maybe seven if you're being generous, maybe seven to get through six seven hours and uh, I mean that's because I kind of took my time and I wandered around a lot and I also got stuck on a couple puzzles for $35 that is pretty steep um, Madison herself as a villain was okay, but she wasn't, uh, I mean, it's typical, like, you know, insidious old lady is really what it is, and it was fine, it was, she was fine for what it was, I mean, uh, nothing too spectacular, I think Blue Knees was a very welcome change, I like that there were two antagonists, not just the one. So, even if one was just limited to one sequence, it was a nice break. Different functions, especially since Blue Knees could actually kill you. And Madison never could. Madison showed up, you know, just looking pretty menacing, but that was about it. She didn't, uh, she didn't initiate any failure states. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else I have to say about Madison. Uh, there were a couple, like, really small things, like quality of life, like, I wish you could turn the motion blur off. Uh, I don't think you can. The, the options are... I, the options overall are actually really limited. Here's the entire options. You can change reflections and volumetric lighting. And this is one of those things that if you're gonna have a $35 price point, there needs to be more options. You need to be able to turn motion blur off. You need to be able to turn head bob off. The head bob in this game is like incredibly exaggerated. Um, you know, good that it has subtitles. I think I remember making a point when I play the demo that like it needs to have subtitles. Um, the volume for some reason is between zero and one and then there's decimal points. I don't know. There's also silent mode, which is an interesting concept. You can actually turn off the voice acting for the main character. <laughs> so I, uh, I know that uh, the main character's voice was kind of a uh, polarizing maybe for for people in the comments and I and I sort of agree I I didn't mind the main character's voice that much but I did find that it got it did sound like he was about to burst into tears every single line and it could have done with a little variance maybe besides the final line when he sounded very determined I also wonder where was dad doing all this John when he's saying you are not my son you're not my son he was in the he was in the house with me the whole time, right? So where? How come we never ran into him? And in the first part, I misinterpreted 
uh, when we went in, in between the walls that we fell down, but we didn't. It was actually a cave-in behind us, and that was pointed out to me by some people. So it's even stranger that we're on the same floor as Dad the whole time, and nothing happened. But then again, we hallucinated so many things over the course of the game, it was hard to tell like what was literally happening and what wasn't. Maybe that the introductory sequence was not literally happening. I don't know. Uh, yeah, but overall, um, color me pleasantly surprised by Madison. Not a perfect game. Has some flaws. I have some gripes. There are some frustrating issues, but that's the case with most games. Uh, it was better than most games that are like it. So I enjoyed a lot of things about it. Uh, and... I don't know. I'm just happy there was no mental illness trope and there was some like actual danger and they didn't just make you like sit there while they do these extensive sequences and have like like oh turn around oh the door's gone and they just didn't they didn't pummel you over the head with that. They they like did little sequences like that, but then they let you get back to the gameplay. And that's why I'm here for. You know, when I'm playing a game you know, I'm not, I'm not one of those guys that's going to be like, oh, it's another walking simulator. You know, I'm fine with it being mostly walking and interacting and not having any combat. But what I need is I need to be able to get to those inventory puzzles or to those stealth sequences or something. And a lot of times with these games, they make it, they like strap you in for their little haunted house of horror and you have to sit there through a long sequence. Thankfully, this game really did that to a like bare minimum. And I... I appreciate that. So, yeah, good things to say about Madison. Um, I would say it's an above average, decent horror game. That's my conclusion. Let me know what you thought about the game in the comments. And, uh, yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Think critically.